Hey everyone, I'm the Cat Freak, and welcome to Mental Age Test. This is not a game, this is actually a uh, website where you can calculate your mental age. I've, I haven't really seen anyone except for Markiplier do this, and he only did it today. Um, so I have no idea what my mental age will be. I know that the uh, average mental age is 23. I'm expecting to get around 20, because I feel like I'm mature on certain way, in certain ways, and then immature in other ways. Like, and I think part of it, is, it kind of depends on like who you are, like, what kinds of experiences experiences you've had. Like, for example, if you're a virgin, then you might have very uh, immature thoughts about sexual things, but if you're a, uh, if you've had sex, like, a, th like a thousand times with, like, 30 different people, then you might have, then you might have very different views about sexual things, so you may have a lot of, a much more mature uh, viewpoint, of, or it might be reversed. It just, I think it kind of depends. Also, like, how creative you are, in what ways you're creative, what kinds of things you've learned, I mean, all those things, I think, to can really affect it. So, who knows what, what I'll be. Um, I, I'm predicting I'll be around 20, maybe a bit, bit younger than that, maybe a bit older, but I'm guessing somewhere between 17 and 25, really, is probably where I'm going to be. Uh, of course, Markiplier, he did it, he thought he was going to be 27, or, uh, ish, and he wound up being 7. So, I mean, that was funny. Um, you should go check out his video on it. It was a 16 million subscriber special. So, you should go watch the video, because that was hilarious. I'm a little worried about doing this, because I know that uh, I'm probably going to scream the results, even if I'm correct, or if, uh, if I'm vastly wrong, vastly right, or if I'm just the right on the dot. I'm probably going to have, like, a really wild reaction, but I need to be quiet, because... There is a puppy sleeping in this house, a baby sleeping in this house, my parents over there trying to sleep, my sister and her husband trying to sleep over there. I'm the only one that's awake. I need to be quiet. I'm not very good at that. <laughs> so this is probably a bad idea. I don't know why I'm recording this so late. It's 11.10pm. I don't know why I'm doing this right now. Um, I just forgot to record a video today and I just wanted to actually record something. So, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Is, is it starting? Hello? Connecting. Okay, give this a second. It might take a moment. Okay, here we are. Um, let's see. Dire Straits were... Dire Straits? Is it cheating to, to Google them? Um... Okay, well this is obviously going to be a very old answer. This is... I don't know. I, I don't know what this one would be. Um, however, I have no idea who the Dire Straits were. I've never heard of them. I don't know how old... I'm assuming they're a band, um, based on the answers and based on the name. Uh, I'm, so I'm gonna guess they're a band, but I don't know anything about the band. I don't know how old the band is, I, so I'm just gonna have to go with who, because that's basically my honest response. I, I'm being honest here. I'm being 100% honest. Alright, baseball caps look better forwards or backwards? This one, I feel it really depends on the person. I do personally think they look better forwards most of the time, because most of the time they look backwards, I think they just look ridiculous. But there are times where someone will have a baseball cap backwards and it looks pretty awesome. Although I would say probably that's an, uh... 80% uh, look better with forwards, maybe even more than that. That's just my opinion, so I'm going to go ahead and go with forwards. The best way to become rich is to win the lottery, to work hard, to become a footballer, or to get lucky. This is a... Uh, I grant all of them are opinion based, obviously, but... I would say it would be between to, to work hard or to get lucky. I mean, obviously working hard is a way to get rich. It's probably the most effective method, or at least the one that ha the, has the best, the better chances of winning anyway. I mean, to win the lottery, that's... To win the lottery is to get lucky, let's be honest. Get lucky, but get lucky can mean multiple things, though. Um, as, to become a as to become a footballer, you have to be really good at football. That's... To become a footballer is also to work hard. So to become a footballer is just a specific a uh, thing to, uh, to work hard, and to win the lottery is just a specific thing to get lucky. So it's gotta be either get lucky or to work hard, and I'm gonna go with to work hard because I believe in hard work, even though I'm not a hard worker in any shape or form. In fact, I'm one of the laziest people you ever meet. But I'm gonna go with work hard because I'm also a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Find an old shirt in the wardrobe. You can't believe you ever wore that and throw it out. Keep it for decorating. Consider giving it to charity. Put it on. Wonder how you ever managed to fit in it. Wardrobe? <laughs> I mean, I have a closet and a dresser. I don't think I have a wardrobe. Um, can't believe I wore that and throw it out. Probably not. I keep I keep things. Keep it for decorating. Definitely not. I don't keep things for decorating. I keep things because I'm, I'm too lazy to throw things out. Consider giving it to charity. I might do that. 
Um, put it on Wonder Hydra Mansion. I'm gonna go with wardrobe question mark because I never have had a wardrobe. I've had a dresser and a closet. Does those cows do either of those cows a wardrobe? I don't think they do. I'm gonna go ahead and just go with wardrobe. Actually, you know I might have had one in my college dorm. So I guess I did technically. But I always thought of it as a closet. So I'm just gonna go with wardrobe question mark because I always thought of it as a closet. It's hot. You want ice cream? You buy a Magnum. What? A cone with a chocolate flake, or an ice lolly? Okay, I got to look at what a Magnum is. Um, Magnum ice cream, luxury ice cream bars, Magnum. So it is, um, it is an ice cream that I've never heard of before. Um, I don't really like to eat things I don't know very well, uh, so I wouldn't pick the Magnum. Uh, ice lolly is that like lolly? Ugh, I don't. I don't, know what, I don't know what ice lolly is necessarily, so I'm just going to go with a cone with a chocolate flake. You've forgotten where you put your keys. Maybe once in oh, this is like asking when you've forgotten to put, where you put your keys. Maybe once in the last year, never I keep them attached with this handy chain. Twice already today, or rarely I put them down in the same place. Um, I always, I'm going to have to go with the last one, because I always do put my keys in the same place. My keys and wallet actually together along with my sunglasses. The problem is every now and then, like whenever I come in from driving somewhere or whatever, I'll not have them immediately there, even though I should. Like, I won't put them immediately where they're supposed to be for some reason, because, like, every now and then, like, I come in from shopping, and then I just want to, like, just take stuff in my pocket because, like, my keys are sticking into my thigh, and I just put them on the counter just to go over somewhere else, and I forget to put them there, and that can be an issue. But I do try to always keep them in the same place every day so I don't lose them. So I'm going to go with rarely, I always put them in the same place. Which does mean I only rarely lose them. But it still does happen sometimes. You see someone fall over in the street. Do you laugh? Or ever to make sure they are okay? Thank the heavens it wasn't you? Or shake your head and think, Muppet. <laughs> what a Muppet. <laughs> I don't actually know what I would do. I definitely wouldn't laugh. Uh, I, pro I would do probably wouldn't shake my head and think, Muppet. <laughs> um, so I guess it's kind of between two and three. The thing is, I don't know if I would say run over and see they're okay. Unless someone else did, I might... I guess I'd rather make sure they're okay, because that's the most, out of these answers, that's the most like that's the most likely possibility. So I guess I would do that. I'm surprised that with, you know, pe the way people are today, there, there isn't, like, take a picture and, like, post it on Twitter or Facebook or something like that. I'm surprised that isn't an answer that's available, because a lot of people will do things like that. Best thing on TV is 24-hour news channels. No. CSI. No. The Simpsons Family Guy. Definitely not. Big Brother, X Factor, etc. I don't watch those, but I hear they're pretty good. Nature documentaries. No. There's never anything good on TV. Well, there's always good things on Netflix. Netflix comes from TV. So I can't say... No, I guess it's gotta be Big Brother, X Factor, etc. Because... Those are... I mean, those are, like, cool... I don't know about Big Brother, but I've heard of X Factor. And I think that's a pretty cool show, I think. I'm thinking of shows that are like, um... Like Haven or Fringe. Things like that. Those are the kinds of shows I like. And I think... This is going to be a thing similar to that, so, but again, I watched them on, Net on Netflix because I don't watch them on TV, but I did at one point watch them on TV, so, and they were at one point on TV, so I'm going to say that answer. I thought this would be like five minutes, it's taking like 20. You're, you finish your meal in a restaurant, you make sure you go to the toilet before you leave, order coffees, empty the tr tray into the bin, ask whether a tip is included, or wonder which pub to go to. Okay, is this like a fine dining restaurant, or is it like a fast food restaurant? Because if it's like a fast food restaurant, I'll definitely empty the tray into the bin. If it's like a fine dining place, don't they take care of that stuff for you? Um... I guess I go to the first, with, to the, with the first answer, because I do that with almost every restaurant, whether it's sit down or fast food. Um, I'm gonna guess that number three is what I would do if it was a th if it was you no know, a fast food restaurant, because I think, yeah, let's go with the first one. You think a pension plan is not what you thought it would be, important, something worth considering, or something for later? What's a pension plan? Nope. So a pension plan is a retirement plan that requires an employer to make contributions uh, into a pool of funds set aside for a worker's future benefit. Uh, the pool of funds is invested on the employee's behalf, and the earnings of the investments generate income to the worker upon retirement. 
Okay, first of all, we're learning a lot of things during this quiz, or test, rather. Um, and that does sound like something that's important. Especially something you need to get, like, started once you get a career. Uh, so not something you want to do necessarily later on, but still something that won't necessarily be effective until later on. So I'm going to go with important, but you can't even start until you really get a, a career started, right? That's what it seems like. A, like a career with a particular company or something. Like, if you're working, you know, part-time in a fast food restaurant, you're probably not going to want a pension plan there. But if you're working as a vegan developer for Bioware, you're probably going to want a pension plan. Miley Cyrus is, like, so over. <sighs> A bit racy. Quite good looking. Everything that's wrong with kids today or a victim. <laughs> uh, what does a bit racy even mean? I don't actually know what that term means. Uh, whatever. Um, I haven't seen or heard much about my Cyrus in a while. I kind of go want to go with number four, but just because it sounds funny. Same with number five. But I don't think that's necessarily correct. I would go with number one, except the way it's saying it. If there was an answer that said irrelevant, I would probably go with that, because she's not relevant to me in any way, shape, or form. I don't even notice her. But the first one's the only answer that's even remotely like that, so I'm going to have to go with that one. Even though I wouldn't say it like that. So how are you guys doing? Pretty good? Good. I'm recording a video. You're planning a house party. You think about telling your neighbors. Well, let's see. The closest neighbor is uh, f several yards away. So I doubt i do that. We live out in like, the middle of nowhere. There's no, no one here. Uh, make sure you've got enough chairs. We should do that. We probably don't, though. Find out where the cheapest vodka is. That's my sister, not me. Make a list of the people you aren't going to invite. We wouldn't do that. Plan which games to play. Definitely that one. Usually we play, like, we plan to play either, like, a video game on the TV or plan to play D&D with a bunch of people. So, yeah. Politically, you are a conservative, green, liberal socialist. I'm independent. What does green even mean? I'm not gonna bother googling that one because I'm not that. I'm independent. I'm none of these. Okay. Politically, I am an independent person. Uh, well, why does this decide your mental age? How does this affect your mental age in any way? This is just your opinion. Is this a politically driven test? That, that question shouldn't even be on there. That makes no sense. Why would that affect your mental age at all? Whatever. Um. Okay. Most people in my family are conservative. Plus, I tend to side. I tend to agree with conservatives more often than liberals. Even though I've a lot, oftentimes thought conservatives were complete idiots and liberals were geniuses in certain regards. Um. So I'm gonna go with conservative. Even though I am, and I do identify as an independent because. I th think all sides are idiots at some point, so I never just automatically side with one side. Uh, but I do tend to side with conservatives more often than uh, anything else, so I will go ahead and go with conservative, even though I'm independent and this question shouldn't even be on this test. It's completely stupid, but whatever. I mean, it's an opinion. Your opinions don't necessarily decide your mental age. I mean, this. If it was an opinion about, like, a fact, like. Like, um, uh, oh, the fact that Everest is the tallest mountain in the world, or the country, or whatever, is so stupid. That would be kind of an immature, th you know, viewpoint, even though I don't know why that would actually be a viewpoint at all, but it's, like, kind of an immature opinion, because it's a relevant opinion about a fact that doesn't even affect you. However, that's an opinion about an opinion. It's, I mean, your political viewpoint is literally your opinion. It's not a fact. There is no right or wrong. There is no one is better than the other. It's all opinion-based. So if it's just pure opinion, I think this, I think, like, I agree with this rather than agreeing with this, that is not your, that is not your, uh, that shouldn't decide how mentally uh, old you are or mature you are. That, uh, I mean, granted, like, it's this, the, a lot of questions is like saying, you know, what do you think about a particular uh, fact or what do you think about a particular person 
or what is your reaction to this? What's what do you do in this situation? Those make sense, but just what is your opinion in general about politics? That's I don't know. I personally think that is a stupid question to have, but whatever. The iPad is revolutionary. A pointless gadget, expensive, cool, or something which helps prevent embarrassing moments. How does it prevent embarrassing moments? Because you have it and people are just like, oh, you have an iPad? I guess you're not uh, an idiot then. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't say it's revolutionary, although I guess it could be. Um, well, no, because things we have nowadays can beat an iPad pretty easily, honestly. Um, a pointless gadget. I wouldn't say that because an iPad has a lot of uses. Expensive. It is very expensive. Cool. It is very cool. Something that prevents embarrassing moments? I wouldn't say that. So expensive or cool? I'm gonna go with cool, because they are expensive, but it's not like you can't afford to have at least one in your life. Unless you're just like, never have any money. Which, a lot of people feel that. I feel bad now. McDonald's is a good place to meet. Okay for a quick snack. Disgusting or nice and warm. I don't go to McDonald's that often. Uh, so I'm gonna go, and go with okay for a quick snack. Just because I think it's horribly unhealthy to go there, but it's not very expensive. It's good to get quite a bit of food rather quickly. Um, so I'm just going to go with okay for a quick snack. And yes, I know eating McDonald's is basically like eating death, but that's that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, McDonald's. Don't... Yeah, it's fine. I'm just... Uh, that's not the worst thing people said about you, trust me. Uh, birthdays are a time to meet the family. Okay. A time to get wasted. A time for presents or something to ignore. Thank you very much. Just like, jeez. Um, I wouldn't say something to ignore. I actually do like to celebrate birthdays. I mean, look, you survived a year in a world that's basically trying to kill you. That's pretty impressive, let's be honest. So, there should, there should be something to celebrate. Um, I don't drink, so I can't really say a time to get wasted. A time for presents is kind of a selfish thing to say, but at the same time, it's not exactly untrue in my family. Like, everyone gets at least one present on their birthday, so it's... Actually, they usually now only get one, only get one present on their birthday, but that one does make a lot of sense. Uh, I would actually say more time to meet the family, because I like spending a lot of time with my family, uh, especially on like special occasions like birthdays or Mother's Day, Father's Day, holidays and stuff. So I'm going to go with, with a time to meet the family. I like spending time with my family. Especially on special occasions. Well, it's been an hour. Getting cramps yet? I don't know how that really, like, you haven't gone swimming, you haven't eaten, or at least I haven't eaten in, in an hour, and I haven't, I'm not planning on going swimming anytime soon. So I don't know why that was, like, a thing. It hasn't actually been an hour, it's only been, like, a minute or two, but still. Nope. Uh, Twitter is confusing, Twitter is essential, Twitter is pointless, Twitter is annoying and wakes me up in the morning, or Twitter is okay. Um. Okay, here's the thing. I'm on Twitter a lot more than I should be. I'm on it all the time. I use it for helping to promote my channel, I use it for talking to people, I use it for role-playing in a certain side of Twitter. I mean, I use it for a lot of things. However, I wouldn't say it's essential. It is helpful, it is cool, it is nice to use. Um... It does not wake me up in the morning, because nothing wakes me up in the morning, but it can do that, I suppose, to some people. I'm going to go with it's okay, uh, because I like it, but I don't think it's needed. You can tell me a lot about me in this test. I, I want to learn more about you. Record your own videos of you taking this mental age test, and you uh, put the links in my description, and I'll watch your videos, because I want to see you guys doing these things. Uh, especially if you already have like a channel, like if you're a uh, Lingwood Plays or uh, Neko Chibi Thirteen. Actually, does she have a Thirteen on her YouTube channel? I think it's only on her Twitter. So Neko Chibi. Uh, does anyone else even watch my video? Uh, Floppy Waffles might. I don't know. I don't know who all watches my videos, but um, anybody that watches my videos that also has the ability to record their own videos of the, on their computer, please record a video and. Uh, send it, put a, put the link in my description, and I'll go watch your videos. Cause I, I I would like to. I might even make like a reaction video, me reacting to you guys. Uh, you know, doing this, so I can actually you know learn more about you and stuff. 
be cool. Uh, you read Apple has have launched a new iPhone. Don't you mean has launched? Whatever has launched a new iPhone. You think okay if you have this if you have a grammatical problem then how what is your mental age huh? Uh, you read Apple have launched a new iPhone. You think not another one already? <laughs> I want one now. The batteries last a long time. Or what's the point? A phone's a phone. Um, I have to go with either one or four because. I'm not the kind of person that's like, oh look, a new phone, I want that. I mean, I don't. I would like to have a new phone, but I'm not going to be like, oh, I need to have one right now. If I don't have it, I'm going to die or anything like that. Uh, batteries lasting a long time is kind of important for me because a lot of times I make long trips and I have music playing on my phone and I want my I want my phone to survive, but I still don't think it's necessarily that important. I think that Apple launches iPhones a bit too quickly. Like Sometimes I don't see much of a difference other than the size or ability for software. Um, so I don't really see... So the, the one, number one can be really good. However, I'm going to go with the last one because a phone is a phone. I like having an iPhone because, like, you know, you have all sorts of apps. You can do iMessage. You can use cell data. You can uh, go on Twitter. You can do all sorts of other things. However, I wouldn't mind even just having a phone that I can just text. I mean, I've gotten by with those phones for a long time. I, I haven't needed a smartphone all, for a long time. It's only been recent that I've actually had one. Only the last couple of years. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead to, what's the point of phone is a phone, because now, like, now that I've, now that I'm so integrated with my phone and doing all the things I do with it, like, being on Twitter all the time and, you know, checking YouTube, like, searching YouTube videos on my phone and syncing to my TV, uh, texting people and using iMessage and FaceTiming and stuff, I would like to keep an iPhone or some sort of iDevice and at least at least have a smartphone, but still, a phone's a phone. As long as you can get, do what you need on it, that's all that's really important. Okay, this test is supposed to take, like, I think five minutes. I think it's been 20 now because of how slow it's taking to read each question. Not sure why it's doing that. Uh, I'm probably not going to edit this tonight. I'm probably going to edit it tomorrow. Uh, see, life is fun. What you make it. All about family. I won't say it's all about family. Um, even though family is kind of important. Fun is important also, but it really is what you make it. Let's be honest, guys. Life is what you want it to be. It is what you make it to be. And certain people feel that they're not being controlled in their lives, but that's not entirely false or true. Like, there is a level of control you don't have over your life, but there's also a lot of control that you do have that you don't see. So it really is what you make it out to be, like, and what you want to do with your life. I mean, I want to bring entertaining, uh, I want to bring entertainment to people. That is my goal in life, It's to bring entertainment to people through my stories, through my mind. I just want to make people entertained. That is my goal in life, so that is what life is to me. It is bringing enjoyment to people. For someone else, it could be just, you know, going out and being crazy and, you know, living life on the edge and, you know, risking their neck every day. And that's fine also. It could be, you know, all about family. That's that's perfectly fine. It really is just what you make it to be, what you want it to be, what you strive for it to be. So I'm going to go with that answer because I like that one. Last question. So, it probably can take another 10 minutes to load. I don't see why this takes so long to load. I mean, I... I got to the, the calculation taking a while to load, but why is it that each question takes... The current prime minister slash president, so I guess it depends on what country you're in, looks... So, I mean, so for... I guess that would be Obama... Would it be Obama or Trump? Because Trump is about to take over, but Obama is currently in office. So that's going to kind of change my opinion. Um, okay, I'm going to guess this was made for, uh... Like... You know, actually, it doesn't really matter because, like, I think what it's saying is, like, your view of the president. He looks way too young to be in office. You know, we should have, you know, like, a much older person, you know, in charge. It's kind of like an older person answer, I would, I would say. Say, okay, is like, uh, you know, he did. Okay, he, look, he, he looks okay. Saying he looks old is like, oh, why is someone so old being president? He doesn't have the energy for it. That's kind of like a more young person answer. Okay is like a, uh, it's like a middle ground. So I'm going to go with okay because. Honestly, I don't care really what people look like, especially their age. And I would actually like a president to be kind of older and wiser, but at the same time, I don't really care how old they are as long as they have good ideas. So I'm just going to go with okay. So let's see what my mental age is, shall we? This ought to be interesting. I'm kind of excited. Of course, you know, I'd be a lot more excited if it was to happen a bit more quickly. So what did you guys have for lunch?
That's interesting. I did not eat lunch, I think. Actually, did I eat any? Yeah, I did, because I helped my mom take the puppies to the vet. So I, I had Jack in the Box for lunch, slash breakfast, slash lunch, really. It was more of a lunch thing, because I had a muffin for breakfast. Then for dinner, I had chicken alfredo. Though it didn't have it fresh, I didn't have it left over, because they all made dinner without me. I was asleep. I was upset. But at least, at least it tastes good, good when it's left over. Figure out your mental age in, in five minutes. Just loading time alone is taking 10 or 15 minutes. That's not even time of me picking my answers and clicking on them. Uh, no. Of course not. <sighs> well, everyone gets time to take a nap. How long does it take to calculate, m to calculate what my brain's age is, huh? This brain is pretty not difficult to... Yeah, she got the command age of one for that. <laughs> because that doesn't take very long to calculate, now does it? Okay, this is ridiculous. It's taking forever. What is going on? It should not be taking this long to figure out my mental age. What is going on? I'm gonna give it five more minutes. If it's not done by then, then I don't know what, what to do. I might just retake the test and show you guys the results. Yeah, I know what's going on. I'll uh, I'll come back in a minute and see if it will actually give me my result uh, with another test. Um, I'll try to pick all the same answers, so I'll be back in a couple minutes then. Oh, I was able to continue from where I left off, so let's just see if by closing the webpage and loading back up it fixed it. So I'll click OK, see if that uh, makes it go, and I'll just wait a few more minutes, see if that see if I'll actually go this time. Oh, hey! It Sad now. Okay, guys, I don't know what's going on. Maybe the website's getting bogged down. Maybe it's because Markiplier did his video earlier and people are all now doing tests. Maybe it's my internet is crap tonight. I don't know. I'll do this tomorrow, um, a bit earlier on in the day, and uh, try and get the proper answer and everything. So I'm sorry, but uh, I'll just have to finish the video tomorrow. Sorry. Okay, everyone, we're back. Um. It is the next day now. I am sorry that I couldn't finish this last night. Uh, also, there's a huge glare coming from the window over there. I'm trying my best to move the glare. In order to do that, I basically turn the camera as far over to, towards the wall as I could. Uh, I'm going to figure out how to fix that when I continue making videos in here. But I'm probably not going to stay here much, in this room for much longer, so don't, don't think we need to worry about that. Um, I'm trying to answer all the questions as best as I could. Again, uh, you know, doing the way I did it before. I only asked one question seemed to have different answers than the, than the others. That was the only difference. Uh, other than that, the only real big change was that the questions were mixed up. But I think that I got them all the uh, same way. So, let's see. The best thing on TV is 24 News Channel, CSI, Simpsons, I believe I said Big Brother, X Factor, etc., things like that. So, let's see what my mental age is then, shall we? I am 30. Wow. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. That's pretty mature. I like it. I mean, you know, it's better than being 7 like Markiplier is. That was, that was funny. <laughs> uh, so there you guys have it. I am a mature adult. I, I am an adult man. -man, -man, -man. I can English, I swear. Um, I'm actually surprised that it said I'm, I was 30. I thought it was, I thought my mental age would be a lot younger than that, but... I'm pretty happy with the results, though. So, yeah. I still want to see what your guys... what the results for you guys are, so, um... Record a video, you know, record your taking this test and record your reaction to it, and I want to see what you... how... what your age would be. Or you can even just take the test and then just tell me what your age is, but I'd like to see videos of you guys actually taking the test and to see what what an quest what answers you have to the questions. So um, I would like to you know see videos and like at, it's and have you guys post them in the comments. That would be pretty awesome. So yeah, I guess that's all I really have for t for today. Uh, I might record another video in a little while. Uh, me playing game. Not sure what yet. 
Uh, but who no, knows? We'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to drop a comment, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter, where you can communicate with me more easily. And with that being said, you're now quite out to have a fantastic day. You guys have no choice. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay freaky, everyone. Ciao.